Kagira is also going to be a grown up. Oh, that sounds sinister. This is getting sinister. Stop being a grown up. Be pretty, yeah, the little girl. Ew, that's so squishy. Hello and welcome back to this perhaps final episode, am I calling it too soon, of Spirit Hunter NG. In the last episode everything kind of got cleared up, we learned a lot more about the ritual, we got Ami back, it was, it was a good time, and we finally met D-Man which was like super random, but there's something strange about this bag. There's a paper bag on my bed, it's got Aunt Natsumi's clothes and purse inside. Oh right, the cops analysed them. Ami said oh, I included the report. Should I read it? Um, of course, let's have a look. As I'm looking through the bag, I immediately find a manila envelope. Inside are a number of official looking documents. The letters are so small that looking at them makes my head hurt, but I start to read it anyway. It is a detailed description and analysis of Aunt Natsumi's personal belongings and her clothes. There's some sensitive info in there too, so it's a bit awkward. Wait, bloodstain reaction? I quickly find the full sentence. Small bloodstain found on the lining of the skirt. Her leg must have been skinned when she fell. When she fell, she must be taking. Oh, we're gonna touch her blood! Sorry. <laughs> when she fell, must be talking about when Aunt Natsumi collapsed after calling me. If I, I use bloodometry on that blood, I might be able to figure out what happened to her. <gasps> I search the paper bag and take out her skirt. I turn it over, and sure enough, there's a dark stain. Oh, we're doing some bloodometry! I put my fingers on the small blood stain and focus. <gasps> Ooh, what is it? This is so juicy. Not the blood that's disgusting, but still juicy. It's spooky, that's what it is. Akira, are you there? This must be from her viewpoint. She knocks on my door, but apparently I'm not there. I'm sorry, Akira. She takes out a copy of the key I gave her, opens the door and walks inside. Is she gonna... what's she doing? The mirror. The mirror. If Morocco's book is right, Amy's inside the mirror. If I join mirrors, I'm sure Amy will... Huh? It's Akira. Hello? I just got to your... Anazumi, listen to me. I found a black postcard on your desk. Where'd you find it? It, it was on the ground in front of the bar. I thought someone dropped it so I picked it up, just in case. Anyway, I need to tell you, Akira. I figured it out, I know. Know what? You don't mean the realm of the dead? Yes, exactly. It's in Moroku's Nagoshi no Ki, the realm of the dead. If what it says is true, Ami, Ami is... Inside the mirror. Mirror? I'm gonna save Ami, so hurry and join. Ah! <laughs> I hope you like my unenthusiastic R's. They make me happy inside when I edit this. <laughs> what is this feeling? It's so hard to breathe. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a zoomy. No. What is this? Not to me. As her consciousness fades, I can hear the sound of the bathroom door opening behind her. And some fancy shoes. Is someone behind me? Her consciousness dims as she turns around. Ami? 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 <gasps> What are we on? That's not really Ami, that's Kaguya. <gasps> no. 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 <gasps> that's not Ami, that's Kaguya. I 
can't collect my thoughts. What? What's going on? Ami attacked Aunt Natsumi. No, it's Kaguya. It's Kaguya. Sorry, Skinny. Uh, Ami? It's not Ami, it's Kaguya. <laughs> Be careful, Akira. Ami isn't here. Where is she? She's in the mirror. Ami, where'd you go? Ami isn't here either. <gasps> oh no. I thought Ami was trapped in the bathroom mirror in the realm of the dead. And the day after Aunt Letzumi collapsed, that my night I helped Ami out the mirror. So then why why was Ami outside it before I saved her? Cause it's not Ami, she's taking on the form of Ami. Uh, Ami? Big brother. You saw, didn't you? <gasps> this is getting creepy. I guess I've been found out. What's that mean? My throat is dry and my voice is hoarse and I hardly and hardly manages to work. Oh well, I had no choice, you know. Mum was getting in the way. What are you saying? I mean, it's true. If Mum hadn't come here, and I could have stayed here in your apartment forever. I wanted to be alone with you. Oh, this is getting creepy. Just you and me, alone together. With you forever and ever. <gasps> it is Kaguya. Sweat drips down my back. I can't move, like my whole body's frozen. And it's hard to breathe. Big bray. Together, forever. Come with me. I love you. Big brother. Oh, she's moldy. Big oof. It's not at me. It's Kaguya. No, oh, no. What has happened? A cold breeze brushes my cheek. I stagger back to my feet. Uh, where am I? This place doesn't feel real. It seems vaguely familiar, but at the same time it doesn't. What am I doing here? My head pounds when I try to remember. All my thoughts are fuzzy. It's almost like I'm dreaming. None of this feels real. The mouths are back! A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Once upon a time there was a child named Kaguya who lived in the realm of the dead. Kaguya had a daddy. <laughs> Kaguya loved her daddy so very much. Kaguya's friends were the tiny dolls her daddy gave her. Her previous daddy and the one before that, they all gave her tiny dolls. Those tiny dolls were Kaguya's best friends. And then the doll stopped, so she got sad. The hell's going on? What should I do? Remember, rest a bit. Find an exit. Remember. My head throbs. My thoughts are a mess. No, that's not right. What should I do? Look for Kaguya. That's right. I have to look for her. For Kaguya. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk and walk down the dim, nether-ending path. Back home? I like the hue. I like the purple-blue hue. Next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. It feels familiar here, too. I can hear a shower running behind the frosted glass door. <laughs> Over the sound of water flowing, someone's singing. I should know that voice, but I can't remember who it is. That's, that's Ami? Is someone there? Hey, answer me! I would not answer. Don't answer, stay quiet.
That's right, big brother. You shouldn't talk to that girl. That hussy girl flirts with all kinds of guys. She'll contaminate you. Kaguya is much prettier. What? Big bro. Who's more important to you? Kaguya or that hussy girl? I open my mouth to reply, but I can't remember her name. But I have to resist Kaguya or she'll devour my heart. Kakiku. Um. Ki. <laughs> ki. I don't know why, but we go with Ki. Oh, Hazuki. Yeah, I do know. Ki. Okay, it did make sense. <laughs> Hazuki. The hussy girl is better than Kaguya? Big bro, you've been seduced by that evil pig, haven't you? Okay then, all Kaguya has to do is erase her from inside you. Hmm. Hello? <coughs> that turtles? Look at that. Oh, because of the turtles in the first chapter, I get it. Ah, oh, Zuki. She just covered in turtles. I know her. The idol who helped me, Kara Hazuki. It's not real, you're in dreamland, remember? I've been here. What in the world is going on? Kukuya must be her behind this, but what's she after? The mouths are still singing to you. Countless mouths serve us and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. It wasn't long until Kukuya had a new daddy. Unlike any of the old daddies, the new one gave her a little doll. One doll followed by another, and still another. And when Kukuya received her fourth doll, she was surprised. This time, the doll was a grown-up. Kaguya played with the grown-up doll. Grown-ups themse themselves became interesting. Kaguya wanted to play with her daddy, who she loved. Her daddy said no, but Kaguya, but Kaguya played with her daddy regardless. Then soon after, her daddy disappeared. Creepy. What? A voice. I can kind of tell it's talking about Kaguya, but other than that, I have no idea what it's saying. My head feels like a big empty void. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk and walk down the dim, ne never ending path. To the train tracks! Before I realise it, I'm standing at a railroad crossing. I feel like I know this place too. Who's this? It's Amanome. Yo, how you doing buddy? Don't talk to it. Hey, what's wrong? You can hear me, right? It's rude not to reply when someone's talking to you. Don't reply. I hang up the phone. That's right, Akira. You shouldn't even talk to someone like him. That Yakuza punk takes advantage of you. You'll end up dishonest like he is. Kaguya is nicer. Akira? The Kakuza the Yakuza punk or Kaguya? Who's more important? Amanome. Hundred percent. Even if Kaguya was nice, we still would choose Amanome. Kaku? Yeah. <laughs> Mame. Ananome. He's more important he's more important to a lot of us. Amanome. He is more important. They're gonna show him in like kind of like in a weird position. It would like the candy. So you like Yakuza Punk more than Kaguya? Kaguya is sure that a hooligan blackmailed you. Okay then. All Kaguya has to do is erase him from inside you. 
A scream echoes from a short distance away. Is he gonna be like filled with candy? Like uh, Marahashi? Oh no, he's like toys and shit. Well, he looks pretty. I'd like that on my desk, please. Amaname. I know who this is. He looks so pretty. It's like Christmas. My best friend since elementary, Seche Amanome. Just like sand spinning between my fingers, my memories of Amanome slowly fade away. I can't even remember his face anymore. It's possible I've lost other precious memories as well. <laughs> Kokuya! Oh good evening! Did you make sure to forget everyone important to you other than Kokuya? In Ami's memories, I, it was just those two, right? Ami. Ami! Oh, yucky. Now it's not Ami. Yeah, Kaguya was Ami. I called it. Kaguya wanted to be with you, so she was made to give up her body. But Ami isn't needed anymore, so Kaguya threw her outside. Outside? Then where am I? <laughs> Kaguya. Kaguya? The realm of the dead? It's the world inside the mirror. I must have pulled in here early after Ami started acting strange. That's probably why my head feels so blank. Here in Kaguya, it's just you and Kaguya, just the two of us. Together, even after you die. Damn you, are you planning to kill me? <laughs> Kaguya loves you, dead or alive. So, let's play forever and ever. Hell no. <laughs> I just want to say hell no. Not even if it kills me. Get me the hell out of here. Hell no! My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not it. I really meant to say. Let's play forever and ever. Let's play together, not even if it kills me. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's play forever, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's play together. Haha, <laughs> yay! The hell am I saying? It's like I'm a puppet dancing under the control of Kaguya. At this rate, she's gonna... Oh, yeah? Kaguya got a grown-up doll from Daddy. So Kaguya learned a lot about grown-ups. They play secret games, have fun without children. Sake, cigars, and you know... <laughs> What does any... why does any of that matter? You see, Kaguya loves you and wants you to have, have fun with you the way grown-ups do. What the hell are you saying? This is creepy! <laughs> That's why... Kaguya is also going to be a grown-up. Oh, that sounds sinister. This is getting sinister. Stop being a grown up. Be pretty as yeah, a little girl. Ew. That's so squishy. What the? The childlike Kaguya doll. You transform into a deformed monster. Only way I could describe it is bizarre. What looks like a third arm and a leg from a female are growing at odd angles out of the small torso. Let's play! As a ball! <laughs> the monster that uh, Kaguya seems unsure to is a grown up body. Um, her steps at the. Oh, her steps as she stumbles closer are awkward. She just. She's just learning how to walk. I... I can still... My feet are moving before I finish the thought. The most important thing now is to gain as much time as possible. Enough time to figure out a way to escape from her. 
The insanity flowing from her is menacing with her crazy obsession towards me. If I'm caught, it'll be the end of me. Back in the hallway. Back here again. With Kukuya. My sense is on high alert. I search for any presence nearby. Don't think she's here yet. What do I do now? If this is the realm of the dead, then how do I escape from here? That's the world Ami has been trapped in, because I faced the mirrors to each other. From the outside, she was able to get out, but... No, it wasn't Ami I saved. It had been Kaguya. She switched places with Ami. I can only guess at why Kaguya switched with her. Maybe her plan was to pretend to be Ami and live with me as my little sister, but finding out ruined things and she had to pull out the dramatic measures. Drastic measures, even. Kaguya's obsession obsessed with me. I th if I think about it, it's been the way since the start. She kidnapped Ami to get to me to get me involved in Kaguya's game. So she got really into continuing it with me. She said it was so she could play with me, who she loves. But why me? Maybe I already have all the pieces to the puzzle. But my memory right now has holes all over. I've completely forgotten the names of Yakuza Punk and Hussy Girl. At this point, Hussy Girl. Can I really do something about her in this condition I'm in? The mouths are going to be talking again. The screams from the mouths pierce my brain. The tale has reached happily ever after. After her daddy was gone, Kakuya became lonely. Kakuya decided to go outside the mirror and look for her new daddy. Oh, oh, what was that? What? Are we able to look at that? Oh, love you can't. You can. Oh, it was like no. Well, actually, like nothingness. Um. Is it like what the um the uh oh what was the postcard? I assume that's what it is. It's you've got to get rid of uh instead of Ami. Uh that's why I Go Ami? Got got Ami. That that's why I got Ami. Instead of Ami. I wanted brother to uh like me very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is like me trying to like decipher um big brother is important <laughs> okay if you can piece what i just said there okay big brother is important okay i can't tell what the whis whispering voices were saying there at the end i worked it out be proud of me i'm smart <laughs> No point in sticking around uh, around here. She'll show up eventually. I need to make the first move and find a way to get out of the realm of the dead. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk and walk down this dim, never-ending path. I'm in the kitchen. I'm standing in a familiar room before I realise it. This is the place where the hussy girl was killed in the bathroom. Oh, I remember now. This is my apartment. I wonder if the mirrored room and weird colours are because this is the realm of the dead. There might be something here. Guess I'll take a quick look. Being in this place, I can't help but think about the scene of death I witnessed earlier. I'll look around the bathroom where she is later. I'll check other places first. So I check the living room. Like in the kitchen, everything is mirrored here. 
This place is supposed to be familiar, but for some reason I only feel restless. I search in the closet under the bed, but didn't find anything in particular, and the closet doesn't appear to connect to somewhere else either. Where next? Entrance. When I reach the door, I, tr I try turning the knob, but the door doesn't open. Just in case, I look through the peephole, but the only thing outside is the residential area, bathed in eerie colours. No sign of any people. Alright, next I'll check the window. The window is slightly ajar. Cold air leaks in through the crack, putting my hands on the window to try and open it more. It doesn't budge in an inch. Oh right, I haven't checked the window in the living room yet. It's a long shot, but maybe it's open. Alright, where next? Uh, living room. Oh god! That's gotta be someone's fantasy, right? <laughs> Cuckoo, you were so pretty as a doll. No, how did you? Let's play. As a ball. That only me that makes me think of the Nitzy You song. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. That's a strong word, sir. I drive both fists into Kaguya's torso, but she doesn't even flinch. It's like I'm hitting a boulder. Or just a large rock. Kaguya loves you. Kaguya wants to have lots of fun with you. If you don't love Kaguya, then you won't be forgiven. I can't, my head's getting hazy. I can't think any. <laughs> hey, tell me, who do you love the most? Kakuya. I don't love Kaguya. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Not that I am actually reading a walkthrough, but I'm actually reading a walkthrough because I want actually a decent ending for this. So I'm heading for the good ending, just spoiler alert. I think I mentioned that anyway, and yeah, you've got to kind of run the time out. So there we go. Because <laughs> we don't love Kaguya, no. Hey, why? Why are you quiet? I love you so much! Bullshit. <laughs> As my thoughts fade, I remember all the people whose lives were destroyed because of the girl's game. Oh, Ami. Marahashi. Is Ami dead? No, she's not, she's just... Art not seen me. They're not dead, though. Hey, Kaguya. I really... Hate you. Oh. She's not gonna like that. That's gonna upset her. You're... Lying. You're lying. She's not happy. You shouldn't have said that. You've pissed her off. Kaguya screeches and my sight goes completely white. My body is enveloped in a strange floating sensation. She's gonna drop you off a building. That would suck. Brother, big brother. Hey, wake up. Or are you just in with Ami now in like the shower? This voice. Ah. Open my eyes and Ami is staring at me worriedly. Big brother, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. A little dizzy, but I'm alright. Oh, thank goodness. Her expression morphs into relief. I mean, it looks like Ami, I know, but... Are you really Ami? I'm the real Ami. I'm not Kaguya. That sounds like something Kaguya would say. Ami, then, you remember when she possessed you? I remember. I was mostly awake, so... Then, you remember about uh, Aunt Natsumi too? Yeah? Kaguya, she did terrible things to mum, didn't she? Yeah. I'd ask her a question that only Ami would know. But, it was thanks to mum that I was able to save you. What do you mean? Mum tried to join the two mirrors face to face in, the, in order to save me, so I did the same thing. I see. 
The reason I escaped was because Amy joined Mirrors. That strange floating feeling. Oh, floating thing after everything turned white must have been how I got out. What happened to Kaguya? I grab the mirrors and still look into the realm of the dead and see. She in the mirror? You're kidding me. No way! She in the mirror? Oh. She is in the mirror. The small silhouette in the mirror is Kaguya. Akira, look! She's coming closer! In a weird, sexy but not sexy body. Shit. Well, in that case... How's that even gonna help, Akira? How's it gonna help? Seriously? Come on, break, damn it! How's it gonna... Just stop. Think with your, your smart brain, not your punchy punchy brain. Some of the strange powers seem to be working on the mirror. What the hell? Is there nothing I could do but wait until she gets out? If Gugria escapes and it's all over, she'll kill Ami, who's just a nuisance to her, and I'll be brought back into the realm of the dead. But what can I do? NG! Huh? NG, it's Gugria's secret! If we can find out what it is, maybe we can get away from her somehow. She's right! When I brought up NG to Gugria before, she freaked out. If we have any chance, she'd be it. That'd be it. What is this NG that Kaguya hates so much? Think about everything that's happened. It's, we know what NG means. It's the Nagoshi Nogi. NG is no good. Kaguya's game. Nagoshi Nogi. We already know this. We already brought this up. Good brain thinking. Right, the Nagoshi Nogi. I don't really want to see this again, but okay. Yes, I'm extremely grateful to Noboru. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru's family cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. That's Nogoshi Nogi ritual or whatever, yeah? Some Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to NG? That sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the interest of the Kaguya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. Could it be? Does NG refer to Nagoshi Nogi? The Nagoshi Nogi was a ritual for giving it a doll plaything. A plaything. Uh, was given ritual for giving a doll plaything to Kaguya, which sealed her in the mirror. People were originally offered special dolls charged with spiritual powers by the Moroku family. But an accident caused Yakumo Moroku to lose his spiritual powers and he couldn't perform his role. So the alternative method he chose was uh, altering young girls into dolls instead. Disturbing. Sorry, meow. <gasps> That's a big yawn. Shit. <laughs> well, now, I know the meaning of NG. That means there are two ways to seal Kaguya. One is to pour spiritual power power into a special doll and offer it to her. The other is to turn a girl into a doll and offer it to her. Let's turn Amy into a doll and offer it to her. Both of them are absolutely insane and desperate, but which one gives us a chance? Ritual uses special doll. Definitely not going to use Amy. Ritual that uses a little girl. Ritual that uses a special doll. We're not using Amy as a as a, as a plaything. The whole point of this whole game was to get Amy out of that situation. But what do they mean by a special doll? You've got the head. Something Moroku owned and it could be a playmate for Kaguya. Something that at the Moroku resident that connects to Kaguya. It's the Kaguya head. The doll head. Wait, could it be... Could be that... Uh, it couldn't be that, could it? Big brother! Amy, call me if Kaguya comes out. Just keep watching, Amy, you know? <laughs> Here it is! I dig under my bed and it doesn't take me long to find what I was searching for. A replica doll of Kaguya that we found in the attic of Moroku residence. If anything connected to her, it would be this. Plus this doll. Hmm. Hey, what is this? That? Oh, since I'm the last successor of the Moroku family. It's just junk now. I suppose you'll be a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. Yep. 
Hi, it would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in this accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean, the power of your hands? Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual powers into the doll and give it to her. If Roku doesn't have kids or other family, then there's no one who can perform the ritual, which would definitely make the doll junk. Can't he use his hands? He's got like, the blood on it, tree shit. Yakum and Moroku died because of Kaguya, of course. Kaguya considered him her daddy, but he was still killed in the end. Think harder, dig into my memories. There might be an answer buried in there. Kaguya must have loved her daddy. So then, why was Moroku killed? If I believe that Kaguya said, and the mouth's words, I heard back in the realm of the dead. It all started when he gave the fourth grown-up doll the tea doll. That changed her, and she started getting interested in grown-ups. Ew. Moroku was probably killed with Kaguya's game. The deranged love that makes her kill the one she likes so they die in a painful anguish. That must be Kaguya's essence. And after she was free, she killed Yuri Takamaru, and then came after me and Ami. Her interest in us is really strange. Why us? Big brother! I told you she's gonna come out! Shit, she's here! You stood there like thinking. Oh, that's her favourite face that only the realm of the dead could love. Ah! Is she, is she trying to get out? Just a little. Just poke her back in! Like. Is that butterfly on her wrist? That's pretty. With an insane screech, Kaguya attempts to come out of the realm of the dead. Get back in there! We're out of time! We're ending this nightmare at a game tonight. And for that, I need to... Uh, use the doll myself. Give the doll to Ami. Use your doll yourself. Da Ami doesn't have magical powers. You're the one with the magical powers, sir. There's not a shred of evidence, but from the scattered piece of puzzle, the full picture that's forming is leading me to a certain possibility. That this episode is going to go on for much longer than I expected. I never knew my dad's face. Mum was the only one with me since I was born. And she was, was such a fan of Yurakuma Moroku that she barged into the Moroku residence. The power of bloodometry in my right hand Moroku family had special powers so they could perform the ritual. Is he related to the Morokus? That would be so interesting. Anyway, plus Kaguya's abnormal obsession with A. If this is all caused by the blood flowing in me... <gasps> is it possible? <laughs> is Yakumo Moroku my father? <gasps> oh my god. Daddy, no! No time to be shocked. The only way I'll survive this is if I believe in the possibility and I have to perform Enji no Goshinogi with my hand. <gasps> but the big question is, which hand do I use? The hand Moroku used in the ritual was the one with the power bestowed. Was that the right hand or the left hand? It'd be the left hand because your right hand is your bloodometry, so it's your left hand which is the bestowy hand, right? It's your left hand because that's your bestowy hand left hand I chose my left hand the opposite hand to the one that has the bloodometry power I remember what Moroku said each of my hands held a special power a power to bestow and another power if my power has been passed down from generation to generation of my family, then maybe Moroku also had a power similar to Bloodometry. If that's the other power Moroku was talking about, then the power of the right hand, then the power to bestow would be in the other hand, the left hand. That's my logic of it. I grip the doll with my left hand. I focus on my left hand, just like I do when I'm doing Bloodometry. Hey, Kaguya, if you want to play so badly... Play with this, bitch! 
We're not the bitch and into them, you know. My sentence was a lot better. The doll is absorbed into the mirror. Kukuya? No. The butterflies are kind of pretty though. Kukuya disappeared into the mirror. Clear! Did we win? Did we win this game? It is it over? Probably. What happened to Kukuya? She went back to her world inside the mirror. She'll probably be quiet for a while now while she plays with the doll. I just performed the true Nogoshi Nogi. A ritual different from the emergency methods Moroku stopped stooped to by returning turning girls into dolls I'm sure it'll be fine is mum gonna get better now yeah I'm sure she will and Hazuki too and let's enjoy this good ending the people who died because of Kaguya's game will never come back but at the very least the ones who are alive have been saved price of the game Bing! La fin. <laughs> um, it says don't save so in the walkthrough. So, excuse me, that was weird. All right, next, sir. Could you not tonight? So calls for more. And you know why? The death march is over. You haven't been able to go home in a while, right? Your wife must be worried sick. <laughs> I don't she even notice me gone. She's wrangling our kids into doing homework. Last I heard, they left it to the last minute. Ah, uh, that's right. Summer vacation ends today, doesn't it? <gasps> I pass a couple salary men talking about their lives. On stifling nights like this I'd rather take walks than stay plopped in front of the AC at home hence my current activity w wandering Kasuji at night being able to waste time doing nothing makes me realize my daily life is back to how I used it used to be it's been a week since Kaguya was sealed since then all abnormal phenomena around me had stopped altogether I haven't sensed her presence once and then whispered have been silent. People around me have slowly been getting back to normal lives too. Aunt Azumi regained consciousness immediately after Kaguya was sealed. She took a few days just in case but she she's back working at the bar already. She told me she started writing another horror novel. I asked her if she knew anything about Moroku and my mum, but she didn't know anything else. Guess my mum didn't share details about my dad with anyone. Not even Moroku. <gasps> Shocker! She might have noticed that Moroku's family's dark secret after the relationship deepened. Did she keep my keep my tie to Moroku's secret from me so I wouldn't get caught up in it? Annie's back to the regular, lively self. She's even started helping her mum. I still watch over her whenever Aunt Azumi is busy. Oh, Ami. Hazuki's woken up as well. Just the other day, Amanome and I sat through her occult theories for hours at the hospital. She's clearly not had her fill of spirits yet. Hmm. Last I heard of Ban, he was pursuing a new case. His target, this Princess Mac, urban legend about a fast-driving spirit. Rose has been travelling overseas during her magician gig. The kind of the king of some country is apparently a big fan and paid her exorbitant amounts to visit. She asked me to tag along as her assistant, but I haven't quite decided what I'll do. I heard all the incidents have sparked an interested interest in mysterious cases in Oe. She's been trying to convince her higher ups to create a new department just to solve them, but it sounds like it's been a hard sell. Oh, everyone is happy. What about you? And I'm an Ome is. As always, it's almost time. Meeting at the place tonight. 
He used to talk such shit about my apartment, just what is he up to now? Maybe he's too excited to remember now that he's been freed from his house arrest. He'll be here any minute now. This episode is going to go on so long, I'm so sorry. While well, I'm at home resting. It's Kakuya! <laughs> and my nummy stops by. How's it been hanging, buddy? Well, this place is as small as I remember it. How do you live here? I wouldn't last three days in this hole. Did you come all the way here to bitch about my apartment to my face? Nah, I'm not that bored. Anyway, did you finish your housework yet? Your homework yet, yeah, even housework. Yeah, that's smile you've been given up, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind you. I don't mind if you copy mine if you want because I'm such a kind young man. I was bored out of my mind while I was trapped inside so I finished it all ages ago. I don't really care. I'm used to nasty looks from teachers. I bet. Watching you desperately copy my homework isn't what I want to do on the last day of vacation. Oh, I just remembered. Was it the mirror in your bathroom where Kaguya showed herself? <laughs> Before I can raise a hand to stop him, Amanome curiously peeks into the mirror. Hmm, so she came out of this thing, huh? He continue, continues gazing into the mirror. What is it? I was just appalled by how dirty the mirror is. Get off your lazy ass and clean it sometime. Again with the bitching about my place. We pass the time doing what, what we enjoy. I'm an anime digs into a new snobby novel while I read the latest martial arts magazine. Every once in a while we break the quiet by talking about random stuff. We do this every time we hang out at my place. <gasps> what next? That reminds me, I need to return it to you. Oh yeah, it the gun. Uh, you're gonna have to give me a hint. What? You kidding me? You don't remember? It's got to be the, the gun, right? <laughs> Digging through my crap in the closet, I pull out Amanome's modified gun from the back where I had hidden it. This is really dangerous, you know. Oh right, I remember it now. I'd be so busy, it totally slipped my mind. What did you say? Haha, <laughs> kidding, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I had you hold on dangerous stuff for me. If you mean that, don't ever ask me again. Having it weirded, having it here weirded me out. Don't blame you, but there's only a few people I trust with this. You, my long-term friend, and Marahashi, if only because he was obedient to a fault. When Amanome mentions Marahashi, I hear a, a small voice turn somber. He must be suffering, suffering in his own way. He comes across as an intellectual punk, but he truly does care under the bl the bluster. Bluster? I've been meaning to ask, now that you've won the war and successfully saved little Amy, what are your plans? What do you mean? I mean, are you going back to being an ordinary high school student, studying peacefully at school surrounded by your classmates? Is that the normal life you've carved? Craved, even? Carved? Craved? Uh, <sighs> that's what I thought. That's the type of life ordinary people want, but I don't think it's for you. You need a life that allows you to utilise your skills. So you're saying I should go back doing the UG match? Exactly. I realised you, you shine brightest when your life is on the line. Everything we've been through only proves it. <laughs> so what do you say, Akira? Yomi interjects some thrill into the UG match again. Not a bad idea. I've had enough. I'll sleep on it. Not a bad oh, idea. Yeah. Excellent. Glad to hear you're down. This is going to be so much fun. His face twists into unusual scheming smirk. You and I together are unbeatable. What do you say, best friend? Let's aim for the top. Oh, I'm an ome, I love you. <laughs> oh, the happiness. It has come to the end. We have finished Spirit Under NG. I'm so happy. It was such a good game. I enjoyed it. I was tempted to to get like the other. There's a bad ending and a normal ending. So bad ending is everyone dies. <laughs> Basically.
basically. The normal ending is if one person dies, so either um, like Hazuki was the first choice, so either Anna, Nome or Hazuki, one of them dies, or Rose or Ban dies like in one of the chapters. So yeah, it's... I, d I don't plan on recording those endings. If this gets en if this gets enough views, maybe I will, but I don't plan to. Um, it's it's for you to do yourself, I guess. Um, but I really enjoyed this game. I will be doing a character rank like I did for um, Deathmark, so look out for that. Um, and I don't know what's going to come in the Monday slot for my recordings. I'm going to have to find something. I have slightly an idea. I have a kind of an idea of what I'm going to do. But it's not necessarily a um, horror visual novel. Which is sad. I'm kind of, I kind of miss these. I like, I like this. And I know, is it September? The volume three of this series is coming out in Japanese. I mean, so I'll have to wait for like the localization, which I assume will come a year later. But yeah. I kind of love this game. It was so good. Kaguya, I love you. <laughs> I'm so glad that there can be ports of games like this. Sorry, localizations of games like this. I'm, yeah, happy. Yes, that saves the progress. Hold on. I'm going to save it there. S choosing a scary effect mode. Is this starting from the beginning again? It did in um first one. Oh, okay, yeah, it's starting from the beginning again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for completing this journey with me. Do go back and check the rest of the playlist. Um, check out Deathmark if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you whatever Let's Play I come to next. Thank you for watching. Bye.